Hello and welcome to Bad vs. Worse, the only show on YouTube where we take two popular TikTokers and pit them against one another in a high-octane duel to see who sucks the most. If it looks like I'm not enjoying myself, well, you'd probably be right, because watching content like this uh, is comparable to going over to Chernobyl and snorting lines of radioactive dirt. But I blame you guys, because you're constantly sending me this content that makes me want to jump off a roof into a kiddie pool full of lemon juice and hypodermic needles filled with badger semen. I, that would that would sting probably that would sting a lot with the needles and the and the lemon juice. First up in the blue corner today we have Swag Boy Q uh, with 9.8 million followers on TikTok. He's best known for also having an Instagram uh, and following you back if you're fortunate enough to be older than eight. Apparently. In the red corner we have Jay Kind of Funny Ocho who has seven million followers and is best known for being the CEO of Munieño. Very impressive. Now one of the worst parts about TikTok is that people tend to make a lot of them. And we don't have time to go through them all, so we're gonna randomly be selecting them, some old, some new, as we judge uh, who is worse in this very important competition. Chupapi Munyeño. What the f*** is wrong with Chupapi? Munyeño, Munyeño. What the f*** is that, bro? Munyeño, Chupapi. What language is that? Chupapi. Man, what the f*** is that? Chupapi. 21 million views on that one. Makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> This is mine. Huh? Weird to do in the middle of a pandemic, no? So right out of the gates, we're getting some uh, harassing people in retail stores vibes, which is, as we know, mega popular on the internet. Blown up a bunch of Instagram stars. Of course, that's a popular tactic on uh, TikTok now. 14.7 million views on that one. Um, I can feel the radiation already. Top comment. This is not funny anymore at this point. I. I mean, that begs the question, was it ever funny to begin with? Ah, I doubt it. Yeah. That's our mic. That's our mic. This is my car. This is my car. Sorry, this is my car. 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 Just to clear up any confusion, uh, that is that gentleman's cart. This is my cart. Don't get it twisted. This is my cart. Jay, back at it again, up to the devil's work. Fortunately, if you go to the comments, the Lord shines bright here. This person says, God is perfect. True information has been detected. You gotta love the positivity in the TikTok comments. <laughs> oh, <sh> <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me get it back. Classic plunger on the bald head. I mean, if there was ever any question like whether or not something was staged, obviously everything is. This dude's reaction at the end is a dead giveaway. I miss your real pranks where it wasn't staged, says Max Arkea. That is a tough part. When your grind is pranks and you start from the bottom doing some real shit, maybe harassing people in a retail store, eventually you get to a point where it starts to outrun yourself and you can't keep up with the originality or the pranks, so you gotta just start hiring actors and doing some dumb shit like this. So let's dip into some older stuff now from Jay to see if we can find any of those real pranks to compare to. But before we do that, oh, you know what time it is, boys. It's sponsor time, first one of the year. 2021 has arrived and it's already off to a bit of a rocky start, which is why I like to have things I can rely on, like my wireless earbuds from Raycon. Loved by the likes of Mike Tyson and Snoop Doggy Dog, Raycon premium earbuds from a variety of fit options and colors. They sound tremendous and they're about half the cost of other premium brands. I love them for working out because they have a comfortable noise isolating fit that actually stays in your ear, and they're perfect for making calls and listening to podcasts while you're doing work around the house. With six hours of playtime, an impressive bass response, and seamless Bluetooth pairing, I never leave the house without them. I also appreciate that Raycon prioritizes the customer experience, from the sleek design to the way they price their products, and the fact they have a 45-day free return policy so you can be confident in your purchasing decision. As many of you already may know, you can get 15% off your own pair of Raycons by using my link in the description. That's buyraycon.com slash Leon Lush. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and thank you Raycon for supporting the YouTubers we love. I appreciate you guys. So this was like back in October and this is just an indication of how the blow up on TikTok can be uh, parabolic because he was doing, you know, 100, 200,000 views four or five months ago. And he's doing like 10 plus on a lot of his now in just a few short months. Mom. Oh, yeah. this is a classic. to be by the library. Where you at? The old snatch someone's phone and smashed here. off the payment prank. Fuck, man. I'm tired of this shit, man. Damn, man, she can't pick me up. Uh, what, what, what was that? Uh, bro, she can't pick me up. Si I oh, I see. He was borrowing his phone and then threw it. Sick. Legend. Oh, yeah, no. 
I mean, to me, so far. <laughs> That's his best TikTok, I think. So far, I, just, I don't know what was going on, but. M U N N Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. So his early stuff was apparently just heavily orbiting around money. I had to do it. I'm sorry. I mean, whatever. I, that's cool. I just as long as you're not harassing people. But let's see. Oh, here we go. Drive throughs. This. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Some scumbag shit. You know, I like a good jump scare from time to time, but in the context where you're wasting product and you're kind of fucking with these, you know, the McDonald's worker, the fast food workers that already get fucked with enough, it's like, that's a no for me, dog. Yes, please. I'm a unicorn! <laughs> the face. See, I rate I'm this one. I rate this one because the only one he's, the only person he's fucking with is himself. I'm all, I'm down, I'm down with pranks as long as it's at the expense of yourself, typically. Watch out, watch out, watch out! Uh, the old smash milk on the, on the ground in the, in the grocery store, uh, prank on people that are unassuming. This has been around forever, dude. This is a, probably one of the more unoriginal bits you can do. 2013, this dates back to grocery store gallon smashing prank goes viral. I remember this, it happened initially. It is an explosive prank happening at supermarkets and stores across the nation. It's called gallon smashing. Jokesters walk into a store, grab gallon jugs of liquid, then smash them on the ground while pretending to fall. Police say this 19-year-old carried out the prank here at the shop right in Newton. <laughs> Police say this 19-year-old man is the perpetrator of the milk gallon smash. I'm going to keep it 100 with you guys, okay? I do find... I do find this one funny, all right? You know I'm very anti up retail spaces just for clout on the internet, right? This one just makes me laugh. What can I say? I get it. Um, he's still about seven years too late. But I was just talking with Josh on a Lush Life channel about this the other day. These TikTok kids, they're recycling all the pranks from back in like old Instagram, old YouTube days, bringing them over to TikTok in kind of like blowing up over there because these young kids haven't been exposed to it yet. It's funny now, you know what's funny is that like, so Mr. Gear, he monopolized the thousand degree knife hustle on YouTube in like 2016. Sure. Four years later, someone's just taking it to TikTok, TikTok and, and make a couple million on yeah. new platform. All the young bucks that never knew that existed on YouTube oh. were like, oh, mind blown, so now we know. knife cuts through, <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> The old punchline of, look at how short I am. <laughs> or alternatively, the punchline of, wow, that is one tall woman. <laughs> I can't tell if she's 7'2 or if he's just 4'11. What's up, Munyanitos? I'm coming on here to explain the situation that happened a couple days ago oh, with no. our prank. Oh, no. Did you get it arrested? Go as planned, as you oh, can no. See, you know, police got involved and the situation oh, went downhill from there. No. I want to say it's... I say throw the book at his ass. 10 to 15 years minimum. I'm kidding, but just... Get a f***ing life, dude. So a strong start from Jay here in this competition. I mean, for the amount of views he's getting for mostly inaudible nonsense and staged uh, dog shit, fucking with people's days in public, specifically retail workers, uh, is a strong indicator that you may win a competition of who sucks worse. But on to our next contestant, Swag Boy Q. At first I said that I love you when you ain't say that shit back. It's kind of hard to just trust you when both your feelings don't match. Let's see what he's bringing to the table for his 9.8 million loyal followers on TikTok. If you can flip your phone off this pier and catch it without a hit of water, I'll give you $10,000 all in cash. 10 grand. Nah? Hey, hold it, bro, so you know it's real. So you know it's real. Look, look. I right, look, I knew he was gonna say that, bro. So look, I got 40 grand all in cash, bro. If you can flip your phone. What's the over under on this being prop money? Mm, pretty strong. Bro, no? I got photos on here. I, got, I can't do No? 40? All right, look. Last and final offer 100 grand all in cash. All right, first of all, nobody on the planet. Nobody on the planet would, would say no to 40,000 grand to try and flip your phone over a body of water, right? You drop the phone, you still make $39,000. So already I hate this dude because the only thing worse than obnoxious kind of street style interview personalities are street style interview personalities 
that are faking the street style interviews. This is fucking so stupid. You can, you can do it, bro. Only thing I do is just catch it. You can't say no, there's a hundred bands, bro. A hundred bands, dog. Dog, dog, for a hundred bands? Bro, bro, a hundred bands? That's like hundred gex? I could buy like seven iPhones with a hundred bands, dog. Oh, what do you bet he drops it? Hundred bands, bro. Hundred bands, you got, oh, dude. At least make it convincing! Just a little bit convincing! The fuck did you see the flip? Did you see the flip? He went he went like this. He held it like this first of all and was like Fuck's sake, dude. When you flip your phone up and over, boom, up and over, boom. It's very easy. You don't hold he was like this. He, oh, for a hundred bands, dog? For a hundred bands? Yo. I'd like to slap every one of these idiots with the shaft of their uncle's dick. This is pathetic. Alright, bro, so hold my hair, what's today? Alex. All right, so look, the million dollar question of today is what's your body count? Two. It's two? Yeah. Just two? Yeah. All right, so look, what's the chances Just of me making that three? Man, that's, that's it, bro. I'm not with the issue, bro. All right. I mean, okay, I feel you. How about this, bro? I got... 40 bands. Nice. Left. You see a 10,000 bill right here. All if you just make me, if you help me make the three. It's 40,000, though. Uh, I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. Okay. Bro, watch out. You're okay. not that shit, bro. Like, bro, bro. Chill out, bro. You said what? Not that shit, bro. You're on that shit, bro. Watch out, bro. Nah, no, I ain't on that gay stuff, dog. Uh, what you talking bro, about? Bro, his, his homie bro, had to come in and out, stop bro. him. He's not about that gay shit, bro. But for 40 bands, though, I mean, he's considering it. Luckily, his homie was there to stop him because God forbid. You don't want, I mean, we can't, the, the, the gay shit? <laughs> you, whoa, 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 bro, you had me twisted, man. I saw the money, I'm like, I was seeing, I was seeing dollar signs in my eyes. You almost had me, oh. <laughs> Listen, if a stranger offered me 40K, I would let them dip me in honey, cover me in pigeon feathers, and use my brown eye as a fucking flashlight. But we're built different. But that's, this just is some real, this is some real weak hand shit right here. Alrighty, do you have a special talent? Yeah, I do. Alrighty, what is it? I ain't got a gag reflex. What you mean I got a gag reflex? I mean, I don't got a gag reflex. Like, what the fuck? Hit me up. <laughs> Interview went left real fast. Why is the punchline of all these, like, men being gay? <laughs> I don't know why is that the punchline of everything. Oh, when your content's weirdly sexual and annoying, what better way to uh, expand your reach than bring the kids in, I guess. Alrighty, what's the message you want to give to your parents? I owe you mom and dad. You say you love your mom and dad? All right, what's the message you want to give to your mom and dad? All right, to my mom, I love you so much. Thank you for everything you've done for me. And what was the second one? Um, to your dad. What's that? Your dad? Uh, I don't, I don't know what that is. I'm oh, sorry, bring it in, bro. Thank you, bro. Nice. All right, what's the message? Classic punchline is the stereotype of a black fathers not being present, apparently. Got a lot, I mean, he's, he's hitting the stereotypes on point here. Um, <laughs> okay, so the million dollar question of today, is this five inches enough? Yeah. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Why do y'all think so? Anything over two inches is too much. Too much? You think that's <sighs> yeah, of course. I think so. Is five inches enough? What type of guys do you think they're used to? My, my man is just ripping through every single racial stereotype you can possibly uh, imagine in his TikTok without really saying it. He's good about like getting around actually saying it, but implying it, implied stereotypes. Are there some here with today? Ariana. Alright, so the question of today is kiss or slap. Kiss. <laughs> Two and a half million views for that. I, fuck. dude, I'm doing, I'm doing it so backwards. I'm doing it all wrong, dude. I'm gonna start a TikTok account. I'm gonna go around Boston with my fucking iPhone and ask broads if they wanna get kissed or slapped. And then when they obviously go in for the kiss because I'm irresistible and delicious, I will slap them and I will get tons of views. All right, I got a question for you. Kiss or slap? You smell like Jay Leno's chin. Psych. Okay, so Mighty, I got a question for you. Are you ready, Mikey? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the question of today is can I date your mom? What? Can I date your mom? No. What if I give you $10,000? Can I date your mom? Dude, Mikey doesn't know about money, bro. For $10,000, I couldn't date? No. No? No. Okay. Thank you so much. You're loyal. Yep. That's a lot of money. We can buy lots of toys. Yes, I'll do it. You'll do it? Oh, yeah. So, Mom's a so hoe no after more all. Dad, you know that, right? Nice. Here you go. 
Like he's like, bro, toys you said? How many toys can ten thousand dollars buy? Yeah, I'll hold my mom out, sure. Uh, now now you now that you let me think about it, that makes sense. And then one more for you again? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were gonna not do bad. that. Yeah, can I get one more for you though? I guess I got both of them today. Oh man, the oldest prank in the book. Surprising girls with a kiss on the lips when they don't expect it. That's uh, that one always goes over well, especially in 2021. What, it's 2021 now, damn. Maybe it's maybe that was left in 2020 and it's okay now to kind of do stuff like that. I could be wrong, let me check Twitter. Man executed for looking at a female on the subway. Nope. No, that's still cancelable. Yep. <laughs> I officially have an enlarged spleen uh, from this radiation exposure. But now, so now we have it. Jay kind of funny versus Swag Boy Q. Uh, competition for the ages, in my opinion. Who sucks worse? On the one hand, you have incomprehensible Munyeno nonsense, uh, milk jug pranks, harassing people a little bit, drive through pranks. Yeah. On the other hand, you have these kind of really obnoxious scripted pranks that uh, focus on racial stereotypes and seeing if men will be gay for a moment for X amount of dollars. Now it's time to crunch some numbers. Make a decision in your own head as I'm crunching and let me know in the comments, please. Oh, I, Swag Boy Q, I think I'm going, my head, my head wants to say Jay kind of funny, but my heart, my gut, says Swag Boy Q it was just more obnoxious. The script, I just, I can't explain it. That's my answer, that's my decision. So congratulations Swag on winning the very first digital award for bad versus worse. Uh, a digital award is very similar to Bitcoin. It's like, uh, it's, it means it's very important even though it doesn't make sense and it might not even exist. I don't, I mean, fuck, who, who even knows if Bitcoin exists? But it's a great, it's a prestigious award and you should be proud of yourself. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, we'll see you very soon with a brand new video. Make sure before you go, you stand up out of your chair, slam down a gallon of milk, slip on it, smash all of your teeth in, and as you get up and you pick them up one by one off the floor, put them in a little Ziploc baggie, seal that shit up, put it right down in your chest pocket, and you hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me before you leave. We'll see you soon. Thanks so much. Peace.